and I, you know, I've got my video camera rolling, and he's shining it in my face, and I'm like, you know, trying to capture what's happening here. And they're saying, get off the property for your video recording. Um, and I'm like, is that a law? Is that a rule somewhere? What's the rule on that? And he just keeps repeating his order, you know. Not justifying with any sort of so basically, legal backing. Yeah, it's just, it's just I like said so, sure. and I'm stronger than you. So then he gets out of his car, and you know the the threat becomes more real. Like he could just grab me and throw me in this cage. I'm right next to the jail. It wouldn't be a long way to go. Shoot you and say I thought he had a his camera was a gun. He could have done anything. So I decided to walk down to the sidewalk where he said I was allowed to film for his permission. <laughs> And I continued to film, but then he put his hand in front of my camera, um, trying to hide his face uh, from accountability. And uh, I asked him what his name was. He refused to give me his name. Oh, great. And then, uh, great. He was, he was with a partner. So I asked yeah, Manchester PD don't name. like talking to the public. And um, he wouldn't give his name either. So then they drove away, uh, hiding from the camera, and then parked on the sidewalk. Uh, across from us and we're taking out their cameras so now they're ready to record so i said to myself let me go over and ask them what their names are i didn't get their names yet so i've got unfinished business here i walk over and say hey excuse me i didn't get your name um, so like, the first guy who refused initially responded right away i think it was like conan or something and he spells it for me he's great connor and then the partner who's in the passenger seat i'm like you know and, and your name and he wouldn't give it to me um so I was, you know then it seemed like the guy in the driver's seat indicated to him, like hey you have to tell him we're recording now so like and he said okay my name's troy i was like t-r-o-y he's like no I'm like well can you spell it for me it's like it's phonetic and i was like well how's it spelled and he's like don't you know what phonetic means I did just do my best to spell uh, Troy phonetically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And uh, anyway, then they drove off. So I never got the spelling of his name, but uh, it was an unusual interaction. It only lasted about four and a half minutes, the whole from beginning to end. I mean, definitely, they don't sound like people I'd want to hire to keep me safe. Basically, no. Treatment they wetted out to you and Neil and... No, and the and funny thing is that we were outside of this building, right, this layer that we can't enter, we can't communicate with anyone on the inside. And this is where they've just taken a man who was arrested for honking in support of the activists who are out here. So we're, we're just there to say, like, hey, the, you just picked up this guy, you threw him in this cage. Would you mind giving us, you know, a, an opportunity to bail him out or to at least communicate what's happening? And uh, instead of that, we get threats to be put in the same place. So it's, it's pretty remarkable yeah. where we're at right now. Yeah. Very tyrannical. Yeah. yeah, Centurion and uh, Dapper Dan Ray here talking to uh, Air. You have a code name? No, you're saying, uh, something with your beard, if you like. 